the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hey you guys, welcome back to Brandon Campbell 12 YouTube channel. Here for your comic book anime reviews. This is my review for Burn the Witch, episodes number one through three. Um, so, I already reviewed the manga chapters for this, and this is pretty much a kind of direct um, adaptation of those four chapters, pretty much. Um, with a few things added, a few things to like make it clear what was going on in the scene, a few things to make each scene flow into each other a little bit better than it would have been the manga. Um, but despite all that, I do have a few problems with this movie overall, but I will say that I definitely enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed a lot of this movie. It was very fun to see all these characters. It was very fun to see... Um, Noel and Nini's interaction. Bago was really great. A lot of the characters were really awesomely like portrayed. And I really dug a lot of this storyline. Um, uh, one thing I was a bit disappointed in was some of the portrayals of people characters like Billy Banks Jr. Um, not because they changed anything about his characterization, but how it was framed did not feel the same way it was framed in the manga. Pretty much because in the manga, you obviously, you don't have the the ability to do like these big splash pages to let me know what's important, what's not important, to tell you know what are these big sequences and what are not these big sequences. You don't really have that in animation as much. And despite how good the animation looked and how crested one definitely was overall, there were definitely like little moments throughout where you could kind of feel like the animation wasn't as strong in certain areas as it could have been in others. Um, the the animation of Kubo's art style was not uh, as oh, perfectly well rendered in this movie as I thought it could have been. And uh, there's a lot of things that definitely felt rushed over. Like it definitely felt like very very quick, very quick fast paced movement. And that's just that's just something that, that kind of just happened just from you know creating a manga, commercial of creating an anime. Um, it, 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 things, these things can sometimes happen, but it is, for the most part, a very faithful adaptation of those four chapters, and I did really enjoy it for that reason. Uh, even if, you know, I did want a bit more, I didn't want new stuff to be added. I didn't really want it to be a direct adaptation of these for those four chapters. I was hoping for more things. And again, we did get a little bit more things. We got to see, you know, um, the PD people going after Nini and wanting pictures of Nini at the beginning before, you know, the coin glows and, like, opens up to Society West Branch. That was a cool sequence. Uh, there was some more things going on with Bruno that, that were really well done, like him breaking through the barriers or, the scene, or just getting, like, a full look at how his dragon looked like. Like, those were some really great sequences to see. And just the whole, how, the way all the spells work and everything, but all that was really well done, uh, and just really well choreographed and really well crafted. And I, I really enjoy that aspect to this movie. Um, but I just, I think, I think, I think this game is, is back to that whole four chapter thing that you just want this world to be more flesh, that you want more from these characters, you want more from this world, and like. Um, we yeah, we didn't get that in this. We definitely need more in here. Um, I did like, I didn't talk about the fourth chapter. Like, I didn't review it. I do like the ending for this, though. I do like the lesson that is being given here about being special, though. I think that's a really important lesson, um, that we can all, like, learn from and get out of this series. These, at least these four, these first three episodes, anyway. That we probably wouldn't have gotten otherwise. So I really did enjoy that aspect. I also love the ending song. The ending song was really great. Uh, it's very like it has a nice melody to it. It's a really great scene, and it really helps to um, give you that like feel of what this series was going to be. And I do like it. I like the music. I like the animation. And just overall, this movie was definitely very enjoyable. Was it the greatest thing ever? No. But I did enjoy it. So here we are on the Burn the Witch one episodes one through three. They come up about Burn the Witch. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.